Hello friends, uh, welcome to another video. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the Lodash library, uh, Lodash JavaScript library. So we'll discuss, uh, we'll first see what is Lodash library and how it can be used. And then we'll discuss about some of the functions available specifically for the uh, array operations in JavaScript. Okay. So, so Lodash is, is a modern JavaScript library which, uh, which has a lot of out-of-the-box functions uh, which makes your life really uh, easy when, if you are a JavaScript developer. So basically you will, uh, it allows, uh, for example, in the case of an array, it provides a lot of out-of-the-box functions which you can use to handle the array operations. Uh, uh, for example, if you want to like find, if you have like two arrays and then if you want to find a difference between these two arrays and get uh, the the results right so uh, it it has uh, like an out of the box functions like dot difference and you can put those two uh, you can pass in those two arrays and get the uh, difference of those two arrays so like this we have like different uh, uh, functions which are really useful are available in the uh, in lodash library so we we will check few of those libraries which is specific to the arrays and then I'll do another tutorial to uh, discuss those some of the functions which is available for the arrays and other uh, other things. Okay, so let's get started. So I have here a very simple application which I have an index.html and it uh, just loads uh, um, two JavaScript uh, uh, two JS uh, files uh, index.js where I'll be writing my code and then I have a lodash.js. So Basically, if you go to lodash.com, you can you should be able to see uh, you, can, you should be able to download and uh, use this lodash.js file. And then I have my lodash.js files uh, file already included here. And then have index.js. I will be writing a code here. Okay. So uh, as discussed, um, so we'll be looking at uh, specifically the functions available for the array. Okay. So let me define. Uh, uh, numbers i'm defining an array numbers which i'm defining one comma two comma five comma two comma four comma one so let's say i have an array like this okay so first uh, function we are going to check is the concat okay so let's say i am modified uh, array is equal to so this is how you call the function inside a lodash so underscore dot concat of i have i'm passing this numbers array which is my first parameter and then this is my first array and then the second array let's say i'm passing it as seven comma eight okay so i'm just printing out the console.log and if i print this so what is going to happen is so it will take the numbers array and it will I concatenate with this 7 comma 8 and I'm, I'm printing the array so I should get 1 2 5 2 4 1 7 comma 8 okay uh, so I'm just printing this and as you can see I can you you get 1 2 5 4 2 1 7 comma 8 so this is the first function that I want to discuss is the dot concat okay so second function is uh, basically there as as I said before so there is there is a function of the difference if you want to like find the difference between uh, to uh, arrays right you can use this so let's say if i'm passing like underscore dot difference numbers comma then i am just saying five comma four okay so this is the first array so it has one two five two four one and then i'm passing the second array is five just five and four so if i execute it i'm getting the result as one two two one because one two two and one is the difference of so 5 and 4 is present in both arrays and 1 2 2 and 1 is not there so that's the basically the difference between these two arrays okay so and the next one is uh, another useful function is a drop basically you can pass the array and then if you want to like uh, remove uh, like two uh, two elements from this array right so you can put comma 2 so if i just print it so I'll get five two four one. So first two elements will be uh, dropped from this array. Okay. So let's say if by default it starts from the left. So 
if you put two then the two elements will be removed from the left side so there is another function if you want to drop from the right so let you have something like this so it drops two elements from the right side okay so if i run this i get i one two four two one two five two so four and one will be dropped from this array okay so that is a drop and a drop right okay and another one another useful function uh, is can be it uh, let's say we, we talked about the uh, um, the drop next thing is the take okay so if you want to take two elements from this array as if you if you don't put if you just put dot take it takes two elements from the left side okay so if you want to take two elements from the left you can put dot take and numbers comma two so numbers my right and then take two elements from the left side so if i just print it i get one and two so two elements will be taken from the left so if you want to take like three elements from the right right so there is another function called take uh, right and i put three so three elements will be taken from the right side so i'll get two four and one so if i run it i get two four one okay so next thing i want to discuss is the uh, dot chunk so there is another function the chunk and so what chunk does is so it creates the it takes this array right and second parameter that you pass is if you pass three so it takes the chunk of three elements and then creates a different array and put all those different arrays into an array and then return to you okay so if i do like numbers comma three what it does is it creates an array with one to five it creates another array with two four one and then it's put into an array and then return both arrays okay so let's say if i run this i get two arrays array of three and array of three and each array will have like first one to five and second array will have two four one okay so let's say if i put four so what happens is it takes the first four elements and then creates one first array and the remaining elements will be taken into the second array so if i put like this i get two arrays first element uh, first array will have one two five two and the second element second array will have four and one so this is another function uh, offered by this lodash which is dot chuck okay so next function i want to talk about is intersection okay so let's see if i put uh, like 10 here okay let's see what happens so basically it, it, it won't return anything because it, it it looks for the intersection so let's say if i if i put like 5 it gives me 5 so basically it looks for the intersection uh, basically the common in between and then it returns that let's say if i put like 5 comma 9 it still returns 5 because 9 is not there in this right so if you put 4 what it does is it returns 5 and 4 because 5 and 4 is present and both arrays so it, it basically looks for the common uh, elements between these two arrays and then return that okay so there is another cool function which is available is let's say join numbers then i can put a dash so what this does is it takes each of the element from this array and then joins it with this symbol which i provided okay so what it returns is 1 dash 2 dash 5 dash so it returns like this 1 dash 2 dash 5 dash 2 dash 4 dash 1 so that's how it works so let's see if you want to like you can put anything so uh ddd if i put like this right so run 1 ddd 2 ddd 5 so it returns like this so this is another another cool function okay so that's a join and uh, there's a couple of other uh, things available is if you, you can put a last if you want to get the last element of this array right you can just put dot last and then array it returns one so which is the last element in this array to get the last element um so basically uh, like this you can you can just refer to the documentation you have uh, functions like last index of like last index of let me write this at last index of let's say you can put uh, uh, numbers and then last index of five is so put five zero one two so two will be the uh, last index so if we have uh, what what do you mean by last index is if you have like two fives in this so it always returns you the last index of the 
of that element that you passed so let's see if i pass two so what happens is it gives me three zero one two three so i have a two at the first index two but it it returns the last index so zero one two three it returns three okay and i have uh, another function we can just quickly do is reverse if you want to just reverse it uh, if you want to reverse the numbers array you can do this so it just uh, reverses the array one four two five two one so it gives the reverse of an array and uh, yeah one other uh, important function which i want to discuss is unique okay so let's say if we have uh, if you have you have duplicates in this array right so if you want to have, get the unique uh, out of this array unique uh, elements out of this array you can use dot unique function so if I execute this i will get one two five and four two and one are repeated so it will it will not return that okay. so this is a unique function so uh, like this you have uh, i think discussed a lot of uh, functions um, which i felt which are important so which will be a really really useful uh, in your javascript development so that's what i discussed so just to uh, repeat we discussed about the concat uh, we discussed about the difference a uh, drop a uh, drop right take take right then the chunk intersection join last last index of reverse and the unique okay I made it a little fast, but uh, you can you can just try out this. Uh, it's it's a really cool library. Once you start using it, it you you will find it really really useful. Yeah. So you can check out the documentation too on, on lodash.com to find more functions later to the, related to the arrays. And but uh, this this these are the ones that I felt which uh, are more useful and important um, from lodash. Okay. So I'll I'll do uh, a couple of more tutorials on. Uh, on different functions or important functions which are available for other uh, like the strings or the collections and all uh, which uh, which which are the useful functions from lodash library okay i'll do a different video for that but uh, that's all i plan for this video i just want to focus just on the arrays uh, i hope um, this you found you found this um, tutorial very useful so if you did uh, please do subscribe to my channel and uh, share this video with your friends and hit the like button and Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Thanks.